story time everyone so last year i had the opportunity to meet in person and to personally work with david henry as well as his biological real life brother and it was one year ago it was in mobile in alabama it was for a movie entitled as uh this is a year it's like a coming of age film one big party film and meeting him was absolutely great so he actually had come out the first thing upon arrival and i had applied for it you know i sent him my resume my photographs my headshots and all that good stuff and uh, i was ex i was accepted for it almost instantly and so upon arrival it was about a good four or five hour ish drive for me but it was absolutely worth it getting there he actually addressed the entire crowd which was absolutely amazing and not many celebrities would do that not many celebrities or actors or actresses would be able to personally address people face-to-face -face communication I mean he was like feet away from me so it was great and I've only known him through Wizards of Waverly Place uh, some people speculate and actually had told me that he played in other movies and whatnot so he actually loved me. One of my nicknames that he had kept calling me by was Stevie Oki. Because I was wearing this like white Jesus shirt for uh, uh, what I consider as a shamanic whatever shirt. You know, over baggy, over overlaying shirt. But it's what I encompass and use in my rituals. And I am not only into the bohemian lifestyle and the hippie lifestyle, uh, being a witch, black magician, necromancer, you get the idea. Alchemist, all that stuff. But anyway, so the the clip, the, the one less than one minute vlog of us together and our interaction, and we, we have interacted with each other on set, but as far as offset, this was like our one and only time, or actually, Several times, actually. Never mind, sorry. <laughs> it's been a while ago. So, the vlog, you will actually see it towards the end of this video. And it was incredible. An opportunity to meeting one of my favorite actors. And not only that, but I was actually impressed and surprised as well as shocked. And just a, a bit overwhelmed, honestly, that he was so down to earth, you know. He was like extremely down to earth. Not only had he addressed everyone personally, but at the same time, he engaged with me personally. And he just engaged with quite a several of other people as well. But it was incredible. And especially him not charging for photographs or doing a, especially doing a YouTube vlog together, you know. And that was surreal to me. I thought to myself, like, how, what? Where? What planet are we on again? You know, I was <laughs> I thought this is like so crazy, you know? So, meeting him was so great. Forgive me, I, I forgot his brother's name, but I'll put it up here in, in the little video somewhere right here somewhere. You know, look hypnotized, you know? But he was especially so great. Like, periodically, he shocked the hell out of me, okay? He randomly walked upon me, walked up to me, and just gave me those, like, random, like, high fives. And at one point or twice, he, he actually hugged me. And it come to find out, you know, like, talking to him, what really shocked him was, well, he, he they loved what I was wearing, for one, because when I work on a film set, I don't ever use wardrobe clothing in the slightest. I use my own clothing that is derived from my own style, from my own personality, for who I am as myself as being my own person and individualistic character of my own of my own person of my own being a my own human being. Sorry, I got kind of tongue tied. Uh, but I bring my own wardrobe from home. And just like what you see here is what I would often 
wear on film sets. It's not always like punk, retro, DIY, gothic, you know, like like this or whatever. It, it depends, it varies, you know. But, believe it or not, me being raised in Arizona for 80% of my life, from five years of age up until I was like 28 years old, or 27, 28 years old, I was raised in Arizona. And just to come to find, uh, just come to find out that his brother, his brother was actually born and raised in Arizona. So that was incredible to me. So we had, we had shared a lot in common, and that was incredible. Honestly, I thought it was one of the best things ever. And we connected so much, and they were just so nice people. You know, it was just the only people I, the only actors I had personally engage with were David and his brother. Otherwise, all the other actors and actresses, they, one of them was actually Alfalfa from The Little Rascals, and I did not even recognize him. Of course, you know, when you've seen him as like a small little child on, you know, Little Rascals, and then you've seen him all grown up, and it's like, who is this guy? Where does he come from? I don't know. Well, we'll get to that. <laughs> Apparently right now, Wizards of Waverly Place is being contemplated about being redone, or rebooted, remade by Selena Gomez and David Henry. So that's going to be pretty interesting, honestly. And, I don't know, in conclusion of this video, all I can say is like, David Henry, meeting him was absolutely incredible. And they were such great people. They were so down to earth. And I absolutely enjoyed their energy. I enjoyed their company. I enjoyed personally working with them. And meeting them. Especially meeting them. And the movie's supposed to be out. Hopefully soon enough. It's in post-production from the last I had seen on IMDb. And there, there are so many other films that I had worked on. That I'm still waiting on them to uh, finally go through the publications. And to post it up to the world. Alright everyone, so my name is Cody Gremlin. Thank you all so much for watching. You are incredible. You are awesome. Each and every one of you are a blessing to have in my life. And honestly, I truly mean that. And I thank you for making my reality possible. And for this existence of this channel. For your faith and your belief and your support. Your optimistic and positive everything about you. And I truly care about each and individually one of you I want to see how you guys are doing in my last video I had asked of everyone how everyone of you are doing and write in comments I was only able to hear from perhaps two to three people but come on guys just write in the comments just uh, write to me periodically you know that I I see your comments so I want to see how you're doing I want to engage with you personally and this channel, my videos, and myself, it's not all about myself. Okay, I absolutely, I, I hate that. It's all about you guys. So you guys are, you guys are, are it. Okay. So, please subscribe. My name is Cody Gremlin. Like, favorite, share. I don't know why I say favorite. Like, share, like, share. Uh, <laughs> write in the comments below, and you're all awesome. See ya.